Welcome one and welcome all, baby. Welcome, darling, to the People's Channel, a place where you can be foul pals. Now, in today's video, we are responding to Orchid Whisperer, foul pal Amy. Now, foul pal Amy is known for doing a series on water culture and educating the girls on water culture. Now, you, if you are a beginner like me, she has just said that water culture is no longer effective. So, I just want to have a conversation with my foul pal Amy, and I suggest all of you guys do the same. Get in the comment box below. Leave any encouraging words that will uplift Foul Pal Amy in this tremendous time. Stay tuned, Foul Pal. Hey, Amy, so this is going to be the same scenario that I would do for a Phalaenopsis orchid. You said in your video that your Phalaenopsis orchid is producing roots and roots and roots, but the bottom leaves are falling off. Well, that's because, Amy, you said that you are using seaweed extract, baby. Now, you have to have a clear understanding of the micro and minor elements, all of that, The these numbers on the front of the package. You have to have a clear understanding of it to understand what you're doing to your Phalaenopsis orchid because each and every Phalaenopsis orchid is going to be an individual that you would handle in different ways. Now, if you're using seaweed extract, you would only use that on an orchid that is in this type of condition right here. Now, this is to encourage new root growth, like my Phalaenopsis right here that I told you in, that's in bark. And the reason why that um, leaf fell off is because inside of this bark is fungi living in here. It's a natural environment. And the fungi inside of the pot, it feeds off of nitrogen as well. Now, that's going to be the reason why you have a higher number than the bottom two number. The bottom two numbers... <clears throat> can be supplemented simply by using tap water, okay, Amy? So when you're using supplements like seaweed extract and the um, cow magic in the back, and also the magnesium sulfate, which is going to be your Epsom salt, you're giving your orchid way too much. Okay, now, pal, pal, Amy, if your lower leaves are falling off, like this one is starting to fall off. Now, this is an orchid that I have been doing water culture on. Now, because my Phalaenopsis orchid doesn't have a lot of roots, that does not mean that I'm going to start, that doesn't mean, Amy, to start using seaweed extract. When the or orchid is in this condition, You that's when you want to use the reverse osmosis water that you use. So, I think that that has a lot to do as far as being a contributory factor as why your leaves are falling off because you're using such clean and pure water. And what you're supplementing in the water, you're not supplementing it in the correct and appropriate way. So also remember, like I said, each orchid is an individual. So you will water that orchid according. Now, if you listen to all of my videos pertaining to orchid fertilizing, hopefully you will have a better understanding, okay? Now, foul pal, Amy, Orchid Whisperer, I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you for subscribing to my channel. I ask that if you can, share my video. If I helped you, I believe in the saying called, each one teach one, darling. Each one teach one. You should share my video and let others know because you still have those videos up with the incorrect information. And so I don't want people that are new beginners like me that the reason why my orchids look like this is because I was doing what you told me to do. In your videos, you left a lot of things out. So that is the reason why we need to communicate because if I left something out in this video that you feel as if should have been in here, I need you to put that in the comment box below or to respond in a video message. Not only you, I encourage all of my foul pals to do so. Just put in your video, hashtag foul pals. Now, Orchids for Dummies, the People's Channel, I thank you so much for tuning in. Until next!